Hey Cancer, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Sheila Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for the 16th to the 30th of August. I can't believe we're already in August and summer is at its final stretch, but it is. And what can we do about it? But keep moving on. So with that, two oracle cards came up with you. So first one says the angel of group consciousness. I trust and act according to my soul's guidance every day. Soul's consciousness is all about embracing and is a strong connection within groups. In the soul dimension, we are not separate identities and we are fully aware of our service to humanity and to the planet. To have group consciousness is to respond to the guidance that comes from the soul and to be synchronized in the right place with the right people and action. All right. So that was the first one. Second one says, the angel of harmony. I am living in harmony with universal laws. I'm creating harmony at each moment of my life. To be in harmony with the universe is to live in tune with joy, love, and spiritual power. As we learn to live in tune with the universal laws, we realize that we are in extrapable part of nature. People who live together in total support of each other open the way so angels' spiritual energies can flow in their lives and bring harmony. Okay. <clears throat> so pull 10 cards. And I'm hearing cancer for you. That where you are in your life right now, whatever circumstances you're going through, if you feel like you don't have the answers, if you feel like you can't make a decision about something, if you feel not like yourself, if you feel out of place, um, I feel like you're, you need to go into hermit mode. And I think that's why the hermit mode's coming up because you're in this place where you need to take a step back. You need to look at your life. You need to look at what's going on in your environment. You need to look within yourself. There's some inner work that needs to be done for you guys. I feel like you know that once you take a step back or once you let go of something, it's all going to make sense. Um, but it, it's it's initially taking that first step back to kind of see the bigger picture in something. That's what I'm hearing, Cancer, because the answers that you're seeking or the answers you're praying about, the answers you're wanting to know about are within you. So I think going and just taking some quiet time for yourself, meditation is key. It's going to help you. Um, I feel like some of your chakras need to be opened. Um, so all of this stuff is easily done. You can find it on YouTube. But it's really coming within yourself and really um, using the second half of August as a tool to put some more focus on yourself because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling for cancer, you need to be more focused on yourself. I feel like, see, and this is why I think the hermit came up as well, because with the seven of wands coming up, you feel like you need to protect something. Whether this is protecting your heart, whether this is protecting your family, whether this is protecting your life. I feel like you're in this place where you're like, you know what? I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to do what I need to do by myself. I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to keep my wall up and I'm not going to let anyone over. And I feel like you literally will do whatever it takes not to let someone in. But you know what happens when you spend every day alone? You know what happens when you don't let people in? Five of Pentacles. You're, you feel alone. You feel like you have no one, you feel miserable, you feel disconnected. Why are, you, why are you putting yourself through this cancer? You know, it's one thing to take a step back and say, you know what, I need this, I need to let go, I need to take a break, I need to find myself, I need to figure shit out. But it's another thing to push people away because of past hurt or past experiences. There's two ways that can go. You wanna hide. Well, why do you wanna hide? Are you really going deep and down into 
why you feel the way that you feel? Are you, are you going within yourself? Are you fixing the issues? Are you healing the parts of you that maybe you've been holding on to? Are you starting to see a pattern? Because just alone with the Hermit, the Seven of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles, you you do need this. You do need to take a step back somewhere. You do need to stop giving your energy to someone. You do need to take a breather. You do need to keep a wall up. You do need to not express so much of how you feel. But don't do it to the point where you leave yourself in isolation. You leave yourself feeling like you have no other way out. Because that's what I'm hearing. Some of you need to find a balance with the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit's kind of saying you just need to be content where you are. Because even though everything feels out of place, even though everything feels like it's this big uproot, even though you feel like everything is falling apart, sometimes things fall apart so better things fall back together. So Spirit's saying like, you could be so worried about money right now and so worried about your family and so worried about your relationship. But Spirit's like, you don't have to worry about your money. Your money is good. Your money is, is balanced. Don't worry about money. There's other areas in your life right now that you need to be focusing on other than money. Is there something that you really want? Is there something that you're really, is there something that you're manifesting? Is there something that you want to create? Is there something that you've been putting on hold that you're at this point? Like, you're like, I really want to do this. I really want to, I really want to go back to school. I really want to get a job. I really want to, a committed relationship or I really want to have a kid or I really want to get married. Is there something that you've been putting off on hold cancer because spirits coming through and saying like, now is the time to go get what you deserve. Now is the time to accept the change to go charging for it. But it's, it's, it's going to take a journey. It's going to take a single step. You have to make that first step with the three of wands. You have three, you know what? You can even have three different offers coming through. Whatever that means. When you start walking on this path and you, and you start moving towards what it is that you want, you're going to have offers coming through. You're going to have options. You can't change the past, guys. All you can do is look towards the future. You can't even go too far into the future because you don't know what obstacles or what challenges are going to are going to come across your path. Literally all you can do right now is focus on today. Focus on whenever you see this video cancer and make a step. Make a plan. It doesn't necessarily have to be something big. If it, it's just the start of something. You know for a long time you've wanted to change the key. You know for a long time you wanted to change the course of which your life is going. Four of Pentacles. Spirit saying, like, this is the perfect time, especially if you've been wanting to build a business or wanting to start a business or wanting to start some type of a brand. Spirit saying, like, what you think is holding you back is not actually holding you back. That the one thing that's holding you back is yourself, is your fear. Am I going to be successful? Am I going to make the money? Am I going to be happy? Am I going to have it all? Am I going to have people that are going to support me? So right now you're kind of in this stage of needing to go into that hermit mode to really think and meditate. Princess of Pentacles. You're thinking. You're, you're really pondering about it. Am I ready to take this first step? Am I ready to start this business? Am I ready to move forward? Am I ready to go get what I know I deserve? Am I ready to put my life off of hold? Like, so maybe you've been putting your life on hold because of your kids or your family or because you are a stay at home mom or whatever the case is, you're married. Are you ready to do the next level? Are you ready to do the work that is needed to get to the next step? Six of cups. You're looking at your family and you're saying, 
Can I make this decision? Will they regret me? Will they resent me? Will they be angry that I'm not here at home as I have been? If I, if I start this business, if I, if I go after this brand, if I take this new job, if I go to school, I can't, my mind's going to be in other places. My focus is going to be in other areas other than my children. How will they take that? How will they accept that? It's a learning experience, guys. It's a learning direction. Children will get accustomed to it. Yeah, they may be upset. They may, mom, like, why aren't you home as much as you were? Or dad, why are you working so much? They may not understand now because they're kids, but eventually when they grow up, they're going to understand that my mom went back to school and got a degree because she wanted better for us. My mom went back and she, and she built her business. She built her brand because she wanted better for us. So even though you have these little thoughts in your head that say, I don't want my children to resent me. I don't want my children to be angry that I'm not going to be here as often as I want to be. But I feel like I need to move in this direction. I feel like I need to build something. I feel like I need to grow something. I feel like I have more to offer than just being a mom or a dad. And you know what? You're right. And I feel like this is kind of going into our preacher mode. So if you don't like to be preached at, then I'm sorry. But God puts you down here to be more than a parent, to be more than a per like you were down, you were put down here to be a parent. You were put down here to protect your children and to love your children and to nurture your children and to feed and to be financially responsible for your children. Yes. But you also were brought down here to be somebody, to help somebody, to to contribute. All right. So when you're sitting there doubting, you know, can I take this offer? Can I move into this direction that I that I know I want to go because it's my calling, because it's something that I want to do? Spirit's saying, yeah. Your children are happy and healthy. And that's all that matters. Prince of Cups, it talks about you wanting more, guys. With the Prince of Cups coming up, it's saying you need to sit down with yourself and ask yourself, you know, what is going to bring me that emotional fulfillment? What is going to make me happy? Yes, being a mom makes me happy, but it's not all I want to be. And that's honestly what I keep hearing. So I don't know what's going on with you, Cancer, if you're just having a change of heart, if you're having a change of direction, if you kind of been a stay-at-home parent for a while or you're in the transition of switching careers or thinking of going back to school, but there's something coming up and spirit saying like, don't think that people are going to resent you if you make the right decision for you. Well, you know what? People could resent you, but then you know, those true people, like, you know, the truth core of those people, you don't need people in your life who can't support you. If this is your dream, if this is your desire, who are they to tell you that you can't do that? That's what I'm hearing, Cancer, okay? So with that, before I get all preachy and all up in your grill, all right, Oracle cards, Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. This misunderstanding has occurred because of judgments about the other person's motives and character. To heal the situation, the judgment needs to be released. Instead of seeing someone as good or bad, have compassion and know that everyone is doing the best they can. Instead of pitying someone, see that the person's inner strength and god godless, god, godless. In that way, you encourage divine light can or divine light to be expressed within the other person and yourself. You are projecting something from your own shadow side onto the other person. So see this situation in the op as an opportunity for you to clear away an ego issue. Simply affirm, I am willing to release the part of me that is irritated when I think of you. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean to laugh. But I'm actually going through this with my ex, actually, with my youngest son's dad, where he's a narcissist. So he... It took me six years to realize that, but he, his words and his choice of 
how he comes across. He goes from being so angry to so nice. And it was like in this point that I just kept putting up with it and putting up with it and putting up with it because I felt like I didn't have a worth. I didn't have a voice. I, I couldn't stand up for myself. And it's like I got to the point where I had to walk away from that because I, I was losing I was losing myself. And I was like, you know what? You, you can't, you're st- overstepping boundaries. You're, you're in my space. You're in my bubble. I can't breathe. You need to leave. And honestly, I was like the minute I did that sh- shift, I'm, I'm still rocky, but where I am now, it, it six months later, his words, his choice, I pretty much have said to him, you know what? I forgive you because holding on to anger, holding on to resentment is only hurting me, but your choice of words, they don't hurt me anymore because I know that it's not coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of hate and it's not anything to do with me. It's because you are in a place where you can't love yourself. It's in a place where there's something within you that you don't like, but instead of dealing with your own issues, you're coming after me. So that's kind of what it reminds me of is that you're in a situation and it's calling on you to clear away and it's all about ego. So being irritated from by someone is your body's way of telling you that this person has overstepped a boundary. So I want you to think about that the next time you get irritated. All right. All right. We angels are helping to heal this situation miraculously so that everyone will forgive and forget judgments and act responsibly. Compassion is the key. So the second card that came up says Rochelle, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. How awesome is that? You are fully supported by heaven and we have heard your prayers for financial support. Be assured that we see money as a symbol of the abundant supply that God provides to all of his children. The earthly negativity surrounding money comes from human minds alone. In heaven, we see money as the energy of exchange. We know that you need material essentials. Like any loving parent, God wants his children to be comfortable, safe, and happy. That is one of the reasons why he sends you guardian angels. Your finances have been blocked in the past because of guilt and other negative beliefs and emotions. I have helped you heal and release much of your negative association with money. Please know that I am here to help you so that you can help more people. The more that you allow me to give you, the more you will be able to give others. In the near future, you will be able to manifest all of your needs. But in the meantime, allow me to help you through my heavenly contributions. So, like, I I don't want to get all preachy on you guys because I'm already 18 minutes into this. But through this whole reading, I just feel like God is coming down and he's wrapping his arms around you. And he's saying, like, I've got you. So whatever you feel like you're facing alone, whatever you feel like you can't get through, I feel like God's just saying, you know what? Pray to me. The angels are like coming through and they're like, pray to us. Let us help you. All right. So I don't want to get a negative rap sheet by going into all of that. So I will leave it there. Cancer, take care of yourself. Make a plan. Set a plan make a decision and, and really make this decision for you. Um, because I feel like you deserve it. You deserve what's coming to you. All right. So with that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Now I'm sending you guys all love and light and I will see you guys in September. Take care cancer.